because they're abstract, I don't really think about what I'm going to do before I do it, which is really fun for me. It, when I used to paint watercolors of landscapes or florals, I had some subject matter, whether it was outdoors or flowers in a vase or, you know, a picture I'd taken a photo. But with abstract art, it's like a puzzle. It's basically what's called plein air painting. It's a fancy French word for in the open air. Uh, you just use set up and paint wherever, what you see in front of you, wherever you're at. It's just nice to be outside. There's, there's, there's nothing like it. Things happen that don't happen in the studio. Icon Gallery always has something interesting up. There's only a couple of significant nonprofit spaces in Iowa, and Icon is one of them. Its uh, mission is to uh, raise the level of awareness of the arts in the region. That's what we do. It's known as Icon for short, Icon, Iowa Contemporary. And then this space is known as Icon Gallery, but we offer a lot of different educational things, movies and lectures and all sorts of other things too. I'm um, on the board of Icon, and I would say that that board, we've been together for many, many years since the beginning of Icon. It's just still the same original board. They're all my best friends, and so we've come, become quite a close group, very close-knit and comfortable with one another, and I think that's really valuable for Icon because um, we get along, make a good board to support Bill. But this integration of the big city culture and the big city kind of way of looking at things along integrated and mixed with the more small town connections and way of looking at things uh, has produced what I think is a magic culture. There is such a participation on the part of the other townspeople, the friends that we have, um, so that when you have a show, when you put something online, you just get all of this wonderful, loving reactions. Um, it isn't like, you know, in New York you go to an opening and everyone's looking around and saying, well, who's that and who is that? Can they help me? You know, will they, you know? And everything is about making money and making sales and, you know, so on. And out here it was all about the art. It's the most different small town you're probably going to come across here in the Midwest. It's very unexpected. All the artists, the music, the restaurants, you're close to a wide variety of scenery, wide open farm scapes that you can look at. You can go down to the Des Moines River, not too far from here in Kiyosakwa. And then the Arts and Convention Center, they have shows going all the time, uh, music, uh, painting exhibits. Uh, there's always something going on to see. There must be 300 active artists, at least, you know, um, and musicians, and theater people, uh, poets, writers. I mean, it just, um, every way, every time you look around, you, you discover someone is doing something rather interesting. 